YouTube continues to demonetize many videos. If you like this channel, please click on my Patreon page. Link in the description. Hey gamers and Ranger fans, this is John, host of Video Games in the World, and for today's Power Rangers Wednesdays, we're going to tell the history of the legendary Ranger in Power Ranger history, the one and only Tommy Oliver. Back in 1993, we all remember that Tommy was the man. Every fan who was serious about Power Rangers would watch him kick so much butt with his amazing martial arts abilities and that famous spinning jump kick of his, I used to do it. He is legendary for, he was not only the Green Ranger, but also the White Ranger, Red Seal Ranger, Red Turbo Ranger, and finally the Black Dino Thunder Ranger. Let us begin the story of Tommy Oliver, people. Enjoy! Mighty Morphin Era It all began in the Green with Evil Saga. Tommy Oliver was first seen in a karate tournament at the Angel Grove Youth Center. Jason, Zack, Billy, and Trini were very impressed with how skilled he really was. But Kimberly was not only impressed, but she was swooning over him. In the final part of the competition, Jason and Tommy fought each other, but neither won the grand prize but the two of them still walked away happy. The next day, Boke and School were harassing Kimberly and she said no. Then Tommy showed up to tell them to knock it off and they tried to teach him a lesson, but... Maybe we'll teach you that lesson some other time. <laughs> yep. Kimberly then invited him for a hangout after school and he accepted. However, Rita Raposa was watching from her base of operations on the moon and she found the perfect candidate in Tommy. She would send putty patrollers to test him and he passed. She then captured him and brainwashed Tommy to become her evil Green Ranger. Tommy's first mission was to disable the command center by disabling Alpha and sending Zordon to a negative zone or another dimension if you like. Tommy had his first fight against the Power Rangers and totally owned them. As the Evil Green Ranger, Tommy would be erratic and rude towards Kimberly and the other Rangers. He would go through another test and would then obtain the Sword of Darkness. That way, Rita would keep Tommy under her complete control. He would then use his Power Coin to send Jason to Rita's palace in captivity, so that way the other four wouldn't stand a chance. Tommy would fight against the Rangers, even without Jason, but he lost round two. He later fought against Jason and nearly finished him off, but at the same time and last minute, the Rangers teleported him back. Tommy would stay confined until Rita needed him. When Zordon was almost restored, he broke in the command center once again to prevent Alpha from restoring his master. But Alpha pretended to be disabled and captured him in a force field. When a Megazord solar energy was being eclipsed, Tommy was turned into a giant and owned the Megazord. When the Rangers started, were starting to lose hope, Alpha revealed to them who was the Green Ranger. Kimberly later confronted him at the youth center. I know you're the Green Ranger. Well then, Pink Ranger, you should also know that you and the other Power Rangers will soon be destroyed. Tommy was given control of the Dragon Sword to cause destruction and chaos on Angel Grove. Jason would fight Tommy as the Tyrannosaurus Dinosaur would fight the Dragon Sword. Jason defeated Tommy and destroyed the Sword of Darkness. Tommy then joined the Rangers, and then... Alright then. It's morphin' time! Dragon Sword! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Saber 2 Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! Yeah! yeah! We're good! We're ready to morph into action! Six working together to fight evil! And stop Rita and all her menacing monsters! From destroying our planet Earth! And ruling the universe with evil! Look out, Rita! We're not backing down! We're the Power Rangers! Pretty epic, eh? 
Tommy was a great addition to the team. He got along good with the others, but it took a while with Jason. In the episode Gung Ho, Tommy and Jason had trouble working together in which Zorna would send them on a mission to find powerful blasters capable of taking down Rita Super Putties for good. He also helped his friends in the Island of Illusions during a battle not only against Mutitis but also against Lokar. During his time he had a thing for Kimberly and was kind enough to reconstruct her parade float with Alpha after Rita's putties destroyed it. Tired of many defeats, Rita would use the green candle to drain Tommy of his powers. Jason tried to stop it, but he had to choose to save his friend. Although Rita's Cyclops monster has been destroyed, the green candle was drained and Tommy had no choice but to give up his coin to Jason. Later that day, Tommy and Kimberly made it official, and I still say, still a better love story than Twilight and The Notebook. They both suck. Big time. Tommy was away for a while, and he later returned to help his friends get their power coins back, which were taken by Goldar in exchange for the safe return of their parents. However, he used whatever bit of power he had left, and he took the chest containing the coins inside. The force field boosted his power a bit, but it nearly killed him. Zordon then gave him another boost, and the Green Ranger was back in action. But his powers were only temporary. After completely losing his pow Green Ranger powers in many battles, he left for a time. Tommy was then selected by Zordon to turn him into the more powerful White Ranger. Everyone was ha happy, and Kimberly fainted in shock. Oh, brother. After becoming the White Ranger, he will be the leader of the team. He would miss Jason, Trini, and Zack after the three would leave for a peace conference in Switzerland. But then he welcomed Aisha, Rocky, and Adam with open arms. After the destruction of the Thunder Swords, Tommy and the others would gain new powers from Ninjor and he would obtain control of the Falcon Sword and White Shogun Sword as well. Tommy sympathized with Kat when she was brainwashed by Rita because he as well suffered from her evil spell. He was sad when Kimberly had to leave and fulfill her dream of becoming a professional gymnastics athlete. During their fight against Master Vile, Tommy and the others were turned into kids so that said Rita and Vile would take over the Earth. But they had allies, the Aquitian Rangers. Tommy went on a journey to find the Seal Crystal. His adventure took him to a Native American village where he was assisted by a wise sage called True of Heart. With a bird as his guide, Tommy made his way up to the mountain where the crystal was. With three wrapped crystals in front of him, the false ones would, which would guarantee Tommy being stuck, True of Heart helped Tommy look into his heart and find the correct crystal. He also gave Tommy half of an arrowhead saying it would play an important role in his life. All the rangers had gained their crystal with the exception of Aisha who chose to stay in Africa and instead send a young girl by the name of Tanya with her crystal. The rangers returned to their normal ages, but Rito and Goldar planted a bomb underneath the command center. Zeo era. Tommy and the others escaped the command center before it blew, and Tommy found the repaired Zeo crystal under the wreckage. They also stumbled upon the power chamber built in the case of the center's destruction, with Zordon and Alpha alive. However, Trouble brewed yet again when King Mondo and his machine empire sent Rita and Zed away from, and started his own plans for taking over Earth. Harnessing the power from the Zeo Crystal, Tommy and the others would take the next step in protecting the Earth by becoming the Zeo Rangers. Tommy once again assumed command of the team. With the power of the Star Zeo Crystal, he became the Red Zeo Ranger, controlling the Zeo Sword 5 and his own special sword, the Red Battle Sword. Tommy would be distraught when Kimberly wrote him a Dear John letter, but he would later find love with Kat. Tommy also had a recurring dream about True of Heart. One day, he bumped into a man named Sam who looked exactly like him. Tommy offered to drop Sam home where he found someone who looked remarkably similar to him. When Tommy went after him, the man seemed to vanish. Sam, revealing his name to be Sam True Heart, told Tommy that he once completed his quest the identity of the young man will be revealed. Once Tommy completed the quest, he was surprised to find out that the young man, David Trueheart, was his brother. David revealed to have the other half of the arrowhead. When put together, the bearer would have control of the power of spirits trapped within a hidden stone. 
Tommy was thrilled to have a brother and quickly took him to meet his friends. Originally, everything was fine, after, but after Tommy defeated David in a karate match, David felt embarrassed and ran off. Feeling bad, Tommy went after him only to find that he had been captured by King Mondo for the arrowhead. Tommy gave it to him, but Mondo double-crossed him. Transforming into the Red Ranger, Tommy located his brother and led him to safety. David insisted on going back to find Tommy, as Mondo had threatened to hurt him. Although Tommy tried to convince David that he's okay, David would never not give up. Reluctantly, Tommy took off his helmet and revealed his identity to a flabbergasted David. Tommy succeeded in getting the arrowhead back, and both brothers decided to keep their respective halves. When the rangers were fighting Wolfbane, a monster sent by King Mondo, a gold sea ranger appeared to help them out. The identity of the gold ranger remained a mystery for some time. Tommy thought it was Billy who had stepped down as a ranger and was their technical advisor. The new ranger was then forced to reveal himself as Trey, an alien of the planet of Triforia. Unfortunately, due to his molecular makeup, he was split into three, with no way of being joined together until he went back to his home planet to heal. Trey needed a successor to carry on the powers, and with Billy not being able to handle the energy, Tommy needed to find someone else. Luckily, Jason had returned from the peace conferences recently, so Tommy asked him if he would step in as a gold ranger. Knowing that King Mondo was also interested in the gold power, Jason agreed, and hurried back to the command center where the three trays gave Jason the golden staff and the gold ranger powers. Before leaving, the trays gave the rangers the Super Seal Zords, and Tommy would control Super Seal Sword 5. Tommy... Always being the target of the forces of evil, Tommy was abducted by the Machine Empire and brainwashed into working for them. Prince Gasket introduced himself and told Tommy that he was the king of the Machine Empire and that the Power Rangers were evil and needed to be destroyed. Tommy was reluctant to believe him, but after viewing images of the Rangers' destruction, Tommy knew that the Rangers had to be destroyed. Jason and Kat found out that Tommy was being brainwashed and transported themselves into the arena where Tommy was. The Seal Rangers fought Tommy, but realized that the only way to remove him from Prince Gasket's grasp was to show him who his friends were. They all demorphed in front of him. Seeing the familiar faces, Tommy began having old memories and knew that the Rangers were good. Turbo Era When Tommy and all the others graduated, they were ready to face the world, but not before living one last adventure as a Power Ranger. Tommy was a Red Turbo Ranger and led his friends for one last time against a new enemy, Divatox. Four new youths arrived later, TJ, Cassie, Ashley, and Carlos, and they will become the new members of the Power Ranger family. Tommy passed on his Red Ranger power to TJ. But this was not the end, however, as Tommy will later team up with all the Red Rangers against remnants of the Machine Empire led by General Vengex. He returned as a Red Seal Ranger and fought bravely like his comrades. After the mission was complete, they all went their separate ways. In college, Tommy studied paleontology as an inspiration of his days of being a ranger. One day, during an expedition in search for dinosaur bones, he found the Dino Gems. He knew that his fate as a ranger could not be stopped. So, he kept them until three worthy of them were found. He would escape an exploding island after being chased by Mesogog. Dino Thunder Tommy became a science professor at Reefside High, and he would mentor three students who would become the Dino Thunder Rangers after stumbling into the Dino Gens by accident. Connor, Kira, and Ethan would learn of his story as a ranger after being captured by Mesogog. He then obtained the Black Dino Gem and became the Black Dino Thunder Ranger. He was back in action once again. When a white Dino Ranger appeared, Tommy's dedication to saving the lives of innocents seemed to give Tommy the cause to show no mercy to him, even after he found out that his identity was Trent Mercer. For a while, he was encased in amber by the white Dino Ranger, and when once freed, he was unable to demorph due to his Dino Gem and Morpher remolecularizing. He remained in his morphed form for a while. Despite this resolve, he could not help but feel sympathy for Trent when his students wouldn't, reminding them that, that he was infamously in the same predicament years ago as the evil Green Ranger. 
his very first stint as a Power Ranger. And that, out of all the evil rangers that had existed, he was the one that had come closest to ending them once and for all. After seeing the power of the White Ranger clone and the Pterosaurus, Tommy decided that the rangers needed an upgrade. He took Trent to the location of the Shield of Triumph as the shield could only be freed from its resting place by the power of Trent's Dino Jam. He also had a hunch that Connor was the one destined to control the shield. He was right, as Connor showed up in time to save the shield from being lost forever. Tommy informed the other rangers they had to contribute their energies to the shield, and Connor became the Triassic Ranger. He was later demorphed by a special substance, but was rendered invisible as a result. An experiment sees the return of Tommy to his natural state, but the process shatters his dino gem and renders Tommy in a coma. During this time, Tommy would endure three internal battles, facing off against three of his past ranger egos, the Green and White Power Rangers and the Red Seal Ranger. During each of his fights with those rangers, the screen was tinted the color that matched the ranger. After proving that he would not give up the fight for his life, his opponents each offered him a shattered piece of his dino gem. Tommy would awake holding the newly repaired dino gem in his hand. As a result, he gained the super dino mode fighting spirit in the fighting spirit episode. When he learned that Trent was hiding his father's secret identity, Tommy considered asking Trent to surrender his morpher. Though Tommy came to understand Trent's loyalty, he left with the decision of letting Trent stay with the team to the other rangers. They decided to let Trent stay after he saved Connor's life. In the final battle against Eltrax, Tommy advised the rangers that the only means to succeed would be to sacrifice their swords. At the end of the series, Tommy destroyed Seltrax alongside Kira and the others. The Dino Rangers sacrificed their Dino Gems in order to destroy Mesogog's ultimate form. By that point, Mesogog had already managed to separate himself from Dr. Anton Mercer. In the end, Tommy would answer Anton's question of what he would do now by insisting he would pursue the simple life of a high school science teacher, finally retiring his life as a Power Ranger for good. However, no Power Ranger, even Tommy, can escape the power forever. Tommy will later return turn, and team up with the SPD Rangers to stop Emperor Grum from rewriting the future. Years later, Tommy will return in the legendary battle to help the Mega Force Rangers defeat their enemies. And that is all for Tommy Oliver, ladies and gents. I gotta say that JDF was like the best choice to play Tommy. He was born to play the character. After MMPR, he did other stuff like being a bully in Family Matters where he gets his ass kicked by Steve Urkel. <laughs> Jason David Frank also had done stuff like White Ranger vs. Scorpion and Ryu vs. Green Ranger on Bat in the Sun. He also had his web reality show called My Morphing Life. He is often sending autographs and he's a cool guy and I had the privilege of seeing him at New York Comic Con one time. Well folks, this was a long episode. Comment, share, rate, and subscribe. This is John, host of Video Games and the World. May the power protect you. Later.